What up? I'm Josh Paulson, and this is Inspector Josh Investigates TV, where we reverse engineer TV shows to draw story writing lessons from them. Today we're going to be looking at Siren, Season 1, Episodes 1 through 4. We're not really going to have spoilers, but I will talk in general about the show, so, uh, yeah, actually, it's not spoilers. So, no spoilers are ahead. We as writers are dependent on the skills of others, and we exemplify those skills or we tear them down. Let's say that I'm writing a screenplay. I'm dependent on directors, actors, cinematographers, lighting guys, video editors, Foley, and a lot of other creatives to make what I've brought to the table shine. And on the other hand, they're counting on me too. Now, let's say that I'm not writing a screenplay. Maybe I'm writing a book. Well, things are a little bit different there, but they're actually similar because... I'm giving the inspiration, and the readers are coming up with the actors, the lighting, the shots. And they might do a good job, or they might do a bad job. Pretty much whatever you work in as a writer, if you are only writing, you have to give up some of that control, and you are relying on the skills and the creativity of others, even if that is your readers. So kind of bringing this a little bit closer to Siren, here's kind of a three-step thing that I do for who to put the blame on if um <laughs> if things seem kind of off in a story, which this can also go conversely to when things are great, but I'll just run through these. If one of the actors is bad, it's the actor's fault. If all of the actors are bad, it's the director's fault. If I'm not sure if the actors are bad, it's the writer's fault. <laughs> this isn't always true, but I've seen this in quite a few different stories and different pieces. So conversely, if one of the actors is great, I thank the actor. Because if there's a great actor among a lot of bad ones, it's probably the actor's skill. If all of the actors are great, then I'm like, good job, director. And if all of the actors are absolutely spectacular, likely we can thank the director and also the writer. Yes, everybody is to thank for the final piece, but different pieces do exemplify different ones. And a good director will bring the skill out of actors, and good writers will allow actors to use their potential towards something that actually makes sense, and then they look like better actors. So writers always provide a framework, and we don't really provide the final if we're only the writer. Even in books, we are dependent on the skills of others. We cannot work alone if all we do is write, even if that means we give somebody a book, and then they are telling the story in their own imagination. So here is how it was demonstrated in Siren. And um, feel free to disagree with me, but I would say that the writing was bad. There were lots of plot holes and weird reactions. Now, I think the acting was great. And I think the directing was great. but the writers gave the actors some rough pieces to work with. So here's what we can do with this info as writers. Be a team player. As a writer, don't just write so that, hey, you know what, I look really cool. Recognize that you are really dependent on other people, including your readers. And so maybe even figure out who you want your beta readers to be. If it's somebody who does not have much imagination, like, why would, like, maybe they're not really the best person. Or maybe they are the best person because you can see, okay, this person took it this way. I need to open up my descriptions. I need to clarify this. I need to do this to make sure that it works with people, that I'm communicating effectively, that I can work with a team. If you're working in a medium where you have to have a team to get something to the audience, like video, find a team. Grow in a variety of skills yourself so you're not just a writer. There's different things that you can do. As a writer, you don't work alone, even if it can sometimes be a lonely path. And so I'd say with that said, it's safe to say, case closed. Thank you for listening. We'll be back with another episode next week. You can follow me on Twitter at Josh Paulson or check out my website, joshpaulson.com, for hours of free story development content. If you like this podcast, please give me a review on iTunes or on Stitcher and have a fantastic week. Goodbye.